Psalm 105 is quite long and there's a good reason for that because it's going back through history. It's looking at the story of the, the people of Israel, their shared history, and saying, look, you can trace back the faithfulness of God right back to his promise to Abraham. The way that he promised Abraham he would take care of his people. The way that he told Abraham ahead of time that his people would go down to Egypt and then, after a period of time, come back to their own land. It goes this way. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him. Yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his miracles. Exult in his holy name, O worshippers of the Lord. Rejoice. Search for the Lord and for his strength and keep on searching. Think of the wonderful works he has done the miracles and the judgments he handed down. O children of Abraham, God's servant. O descendants of Jacob, God's chosen one. He is the Lord our God. His rule is seen throughout the land. He always stands by his covenant. The commitment he made to a thousand generations. This is the covenant he made with Abraham and the oath he swore to, a swore to Isaac, Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to the people of Israel as a never-ending treaty. I will give you the land of Canaan as your special possession. He said this when they were few in number, a tiny group of strangers in Canaan. So he's going right back to when the people of God's people were just a few, just a small family. And he's saying, look, God gave his promise then and it's still valid now. He is faithful to his promises. He always keeps them. And then he goes back through the story of how they, the people ended up as slaves in Egypt. He tells all about Joseph. He says when um, Israel arrived in Egypt, Jacob lived as a foreigner in the land of Ham. And the Lord multiplied the people of Israel until they became too mighty for their enemies. Then he turned the Egyptians against the Israelites, and they plotted against the Lord's servants. But the Lord sent Moses, his servant, along with Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed miraculous signs among the Egyptians and miracles in the land of Ham. The Lord blanketed Egypt in darkness, for they had defied his commands to let his people go. He goes through many of the plagues that happened in Egypt while God demonstrated his power to the Egyptians. But he brought his people safely out of Egypt, laden with silver and gold. There were no sick or feeble people among them. Egypt was glad when they were gone, for the dread of them was great. The Lord spread out a cloud above them as a covering and gave them a great fire to light the darkness. They asked for meat, and he sent them quail. He gave them manna, bread from heaven. He opened up a rock and water gushed out to form a river through the dry and barren land. For he remembered his sacred promise to Abraham his servant. So he brought his people out of Egypt with joy, his chosen ones with rejoicing. He gave his people the lands of pagan nations and they harvested crops that others had planted. All this happened so they would follow his principles and obey his laws. Praise the Lord. So it is for us today. The Lord has given us lots of promises. We are his people when we turn to him in faith and repentance. And he will put his shield of protection around us. He will bring us through to his 
place in heaven eventually. O oh Lord, we praise you for you are faithful. You always keep your promises. We are yours and you are ours. And Lord, I thank you that you've promised that we will be with you forever. And we know that we can rely on your promise. Amen.